let me introduce to you Dr. Mirav antman Pasig from Dan Heller's lab, also in molecular pharmacology, and she is going to talk to you about Let Us Illuminate Your Brain. Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, brain tumors. These are very scary words. And the reason they are scary is that these are diseases that happen in the brain. I don't need to convince you that the brain is an important organ. The brain controls our movements, our thoughts, our actions. You is the brain. The brain is also a highly complex organ with billions of neurons and trillions of neuronal connections. Now, we might think that that's enough to spare, but the truth is even small malfunctions in the brain may have devastating results and cause great loss of function. So what kind of tools do doctors have today to image and investigate the brain? The two most common tools are MRI scans and CT scans. And over here you have an example of a brain MRI scan. Looking at an MRI today is kind of like looking at an old black and white TV screen. So let's imagine for a second you're watching a football game back in the 60s. You just saw that your favorite team scored a touchdown and that the whole crowd is cheering. But you might have missed that critical pass. You might not have even seen the ball when it was in play. Overall, you will have a good understanding of where the game is at and where it's going, but you may miss some critical features. And this is where we come in. We are engineers, and our goal is to design the new metaphorical color TV for doctors. We do this by using small entities, which you can see over here, that are called carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes can be implanted in the brain, and as a result, they illuminate. Carbon nanotubes are very small. Having a single nanotube in your brain is the equivalent of having a single strand of hair in the whole of Manhattan. Carbon nanotubes are very unique. They have several features that make them very important for this job. First of all, they fluoresce, which means they emit light in a specific color. This light can transverse through tissue and skull and skin, which is very important if you want to visualize things that happen deep in the brain. The second thing is that carbon nanotubes can easily be modified with different molecules, and that enables us to design them to target specific diseases. And the third thing is carbon nanotubes are designed in a way that they change the color they emit when they come in contact with disease markers. And that gives us the ability to distinguish between a disease state and a healthy state. Overall, our goal is to design the new technologies that will be the cutting edge and the metaphorical color and high-resolution TV, so doctors will have better TVs. Thank you so much.